channel, Live, Laugh, and Learn here with Sophie. Right now we are going to Silver Spring. So today, adventure is going to be a two-part video. First part, we are going on the kayak uh, and the clear spring. So it's going to be an exciting day. A lot of, a lot of um, trails. So we made it to the springs. I'm so excited. Look how tall the trees are. Oh my gosh be a nice walk in here so the entrance fee is two dollars and then we'll figure it out what happened what happened to the rest uh, we're gonna try to go on the glass bottom um, canoe today I mean kayak so it's gonna be a good adventure So for all the activities that you guys want to do at this park, make sure that you buy all your tickets at the front uh, gate so that you don't have to come back around. Sometimes they'll tell you, but sometimes they won't. I had to come back for uh, the glass bottom tour, so. When you enter this place, uh, the main entrance is gonna be ahead of you once you turn into the parking lot. But if you guys want to start with the water, activities then you might want to stay to the right side of the parking lot as soon as you enter which I'm going to show you later on when I get to the kayak park. So that's the boat tour. That you can do an hour and a half, or you can do uh, half an hour. So, look, people in the kayak. That's gonna be me soon. So here's the boardwalk to go around, but I'm not taking that route. I have to take this dirt route here to get to my, uh, my oh my gosh. What is that? Why is that thing so big? Can you see how big that leaf is? Whoa. Look, I'm giving you a sneak peek of the spring. I mean, we're gonna be in it, rowing in a little bit. So it is $16 for me for two hours to kayak on this road. I bought the maximum hour so you wouldn't get charged if you come back late. But two hours is really plenty of time. You can just take your time. I came back 40 minutes early, so, but. Uh, here we go. I'll take it to the back. We got four canoes up here. We don't need four up here. There's a manatee over there. I'm gonna have to get my way over there to see him. 
So if you can see the man, man it's, really just, it's right there. Oh my goodness. I got kind of scared going by because he was blown bubble up. I'm like, oh my god, he's so huge. He's almost the size of my kayak. So here you can do paddleboard, you can do canoe, kayak, clear bottom. I couldn't do clear bottom today because it's a two person and it's harder to row a two person. So I just stayed with myself. Get a turtle. Hi turtle. We got the turtle here. So I went for the longer route and the moment you turn that corner to this spot right here is beyond amazing. It, the breeze is perfect, the view is perfect, the water is calm and look at that. It's nice things for you to look along the way. You really could take your time because I kind of rushed it. I thought I wouldn't come back on time but I had plenty of time. I came back with... 45 minutes extra on my time, but all good, all happy. Uh, there's turtles and an alligator chilling there. that and you're gonna take a left to go back to the loop otherwise otherwise you're gonna miss your turn and come back late and they're gonna charge you $50 so you do not want that at all <sighs> continue rowing we go We're gonna go on that next, that bay right there. Ooh. Oh look, there's a banana tree. So we're right back to where we were, probably on the other side. Tip guys, if you see those glass bottom boats, wherever they that they go to stop and look at, that's where you should be rowing your canoe or kayak to go look at because that's where all the hot spots are. And I didn't know, so I came back rushing early back. But Hi. stay tuned because we are going on the glass bottom boat next.
ahead of us is the is the glass bottom kayak that I wanted to do, but because I only have one person, which is me, so I couldn't do it. It's harder to row. Up top, staring at us. It's so peaceful. Listen straight down. You can see everything. 